This is one of my psychology textbooks, uh, 10 Theories of Human Nature. There's something in here that bothered me for a while. I wanted to make a video about it. This is about uh, Sartre. To really extremely simplify things for the purpose of making this video concise. Basically, one of his things is that it's better to live authentically as opposed to not be true to yourself. The author's criticism of that idea is th he's basically saying that then it would be more ideal to be true to yourself and be authentic and be a total jerk and do horrible things to people than to do good things and do good in the world world and not be true to your own nature if you're really a jerk at heart. And so how he expresses this idea is as follows. I highlight a part of this. It looks as though on his own premise that Sartre would have to commend the man who authentically chooses to devote himself to exterminating Jews, seducing women and abusing children, or playing computer games. Okay, exterminating Jews, seducing women, or playing computer games. How is genocide and child abuse t equivalent to playing computer games? To the opposite extent, uh, if someone devotes him, him or herself to bringing up his or her children, helping the poor, or playing music, but deceives himself in, Char in Sartre's view into thinking that these objective values, would Sartre condemn this person as living in bad faith, or in other words, of being untrue to themselves? So. Exterminating Jews, seducing women, abusing children, and playing computer games, whereas raising children, helping the poor, and playing music are the are the opposite of that. Can you believe that in the year 2012, when more people of all ages, backgrounds, and lifestyles enjoy video games than ever before, crap like this still finds its way into higher learning textbooks, and some continue to believe that being a gamer and being a productive, generous person are mutually exclusive? If you're a gamer, and you're offended that you and your pastime are being stigmatized and likened to evil such as child abuse and genocide, now is as good a time as any to realize that it's going to take a lot more than whining about it on the internet to affect change. There are groups of dedicated gamers out there doing awesome work such as Streetpass NYC, who recently marched as an official walking team for AIDS Walk New York, and SOS Gamers, who have raised money for a multitude of worthy causes, and another group, one of my personal favorites you may have heard of before, the Speed Gamers, who do live stream game videos and marathons to raise money and awareness for a plethora of charitable organizations, has an upcoming week-long marathon for one of my favorite game franchises of all time, Pokemon. Spart starting June 15th, they're going to be playing Pokemon for 186 hours straight with the goal of capturing all 649 Pokemon to raise $50,000 for Act Today Autism Care and Treatment, who will receive 100% of the proceeds. There's also going to be prize incentives attached to this. They're going to be giving away some hard-to-get Pokemon merchandise straight out of Japan, as well as some one-of-a-kind fan-made goodies, including figurines and fan art donated to speed gamers by artists and artisans from within the Pokemon fan community. For the last few months, one of my good friends who created and produces the sci-fi webcomic Inhuman has been doing a fantastic series of paintings depicting all the poison-type Pokémon from each generation of the games. So if you participate, not only are you going to have a great time helping act today and being a credit to the gaming community as a whole, but you might even end up winning a cool prize. There's an adorable and hilarious cartoon on YouTube already promoting the event, so if you're interested, be sure to watch that. Visit the Speed Gamers and Act Today's websites and check out the awesome work they do and help spread the word about the Speed Gamers week-long Pokemon Marathon starting June 15th. That's all for now, and as always, thank you very much for watching.